What if I told you the voices of ChatGPT, Siri, Alexa, and every talking AI out there owe their existence to this bizarre machine from the 1930s? Yes, you heard that right. Meet the voter. The very first voice synthesizer ever built. Now you're wondering what it actually sounded like, right? Well, hear it for yourself. Yeah, yeah, I know. Freaky stuff, right? And in this video, we're paying tribute to this bizarre machine because we're going to learn how it works and try to recreate it using vibe coding. That's right, folks. We're asking AI to show us what this machine would sound like today. So without further ado, welcome everyone to Nobody, nobody, nobody and the computer Nobody, nobody, nobody and the computer All right, let's get weird. We're about to bring back one of history's most insane synthesizers. But first, we gotta pay the bills. So here come the ads. Hey everybody, you know that? This channel doesn't accept sponsors. That's right. We want the freedom to create whatever the hell we want. And you know what else? We don't sell Get Rich with AI courses either. Here, AI isn't the artist. It's the amplifier. We use it to turn human imagination into strange, beautiful, audio-visual things. So if you like that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, or join the Nobody's Collective. Yes. If you'd like to support this channel, join the Nobody's Collective on Patreon. Your name in the titles, your access to secret materials, codes, video tutorials, prompts, and much, much, much less. Now, without further ado, back to the video. All right, let's try to bring the voter back to life using vibe coding. We'll follow a few steps, and along the way, you'll learn how to vibe code your little creations into existence. So let's start with the first step. Understand what you're about to create. The Voda was a revolutionary machine, the first to generate human-like speech entirely by electronic means with no recorded voice involved. Unlike today's text-to-speech systems, it was performed live, played like an instrument. Each sound, each word, shaped in real time by a skilled operator. Only a few dozen ever mastered it, known as the legendary voter girls. Why was it only women? The reason isn't clear, but I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. The voter recreated how humans speak, electronically. It began with a sound source, a buzzing tone for voiced sounds or a hiss for unvoiced ones. This raw energy passed through 10 filters, spanning roughly 0 to 7,500 hertz each shaping a specific range of frequencies, much like the human mouth and throat form resonances. Pitch was controlled by a foot pedal, allowing the operator to raise or lower tone in real time. On the side panel, a wrist bar switched between buzz and hiss, pressed down for voiced sounds, lifted for unvoiced ones. Each word was performed live. It was speech played like music, mechanical in sound, but deeply human in touch. So, I'm writing down the technical specs for the voter. Basically, everything we'll need to tell our AI tool so it can code the thing for us, and we can actually play it. Next comes the glamorous part, designing the user interface, the visual soul of our app. To make that easier, I created this custom GPT, a delightful little assistant that helps you craft the perfect UI specification for some serious vibe coding. It's going to ask about personality, feeling, visual direction, colors and tone, typography and shapes, and the overall interaction feel. Everything the artificial intelligence needs to know to design the user interface. For this one, I'm going for a calm, elegant, and spotless vibe. The GPT will keep the conversation going, asking a few more questions, the kind that uncover every last detail needed to shape a truly cool interface, and finally deliver the golden section of the prompt, the one that defines the exact look and feel of the user interface we want. So we've got everything ready, time to fire up Anthropic Claude, and let the vibe coding begin. So, here we are. 
The prompt is ready, packed with technical requirements, UI design principles, and the functional behavior, including those basic directives to control the voter with the computer keyboard. We hit enter. The code begins to flow. My heart's racing. What will come out of this? Let's find out. Okay, so here's what it vibe coded. Clean, elegant, beautifully minimal. Hit standby to wake it up, then use your keyboard to control it. Spacebar toggles buzz and hiss, and the number keys bring the filters to life. Use the up and down arrow keys to control the pitch, like giving the voter a little emotional range. Not bad, but I'd love a reference that shows which filters to activate to produce different phonemes. Let's keep vibe coding. Please add a text guide to explain voiced and unvoiced sounds for the user's reference. Okay, here's our cheat sheet. It shows which filters to trigger. For instance, to say, ah, hit one, two, and three with the buzz generator on. For a crisp S, go for seven, eight, and nine using the hiss generator. This is unbelievably hard. Now I understand why the voter girls spent a whole year practicing to make it sound human. Respect to the original synth queens. Now check this out. I'm going to share the different versions of the voter. The cool thing about Anthropic Claude's artifacts is that you can customize them and create your own versions of the synthesizer, adding improvements and tweaks. I challenge everyone to remix it and make it actually talk. Let's see who's brave enough to give it a go. Okay, I'll go first. Vibe coding nonstop because vibe coding is the future. I'm talking back and forth with Claude, asking for just a few key upgrades. Smoother transitions between sounds, natural pitch and rhythm, real human formants for vowels, and smart pauses between words. I wrapped it up with this version. Pretty solid, actually. I added a text box so anyone can type what they want the voter to say. Well, the voice is still totally robotic, but honestly, that's part of its charm. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's weird, like a green dog, but you can't deny it's got its own charm. I'm leaving a link in the description with all the materials from this video, so you can play around and experiment as much as you want. Big thanks to the Nobody's Collective, none of this would be possible without them. Join in and discover tons of extra content you're gonna love. See you in the next one.